My name's Simon Delaney from Delaney Marlin Partnership and we're a firm of chartered building surveyors. We've been established since 2007, so uh, currently in our 13th year. Kevin, my business partner and myself, uh, met while working at the East Riding of Yorkshire Council as building surveyors. We get to see lots of interesting properties, um, such as Spurnhead Lighthouse. We've got a castle in Shropshire to survey next year, but we also go into two bedroom properties and houses, as well as factories. So there's many highs and lows of working as a building surveyor, um, but as you can probably see from where we're shooting this video, we're currently in the central tower of Beverly Minster which is one of the highs for our business as we currently manage the Beverly Minster Old Fund maintenance team and all the, all the maintenance on Beverly Minster. This range is vastly, but starting salaries tend to range at about £17,000 for somebody that's been through the training and then once qualified, which takes two years, you can go up to forty or £50,000 easy and even more depending on what role you take and who you work for. Most of those are around being cold and wet and having to undertake the surveys in whatever weather, but that doesn't usually get us down. We do something different every day, which means going to work is interesting and remains interesting and it has done for 13 years. There's over 50 different types of surveyor and that ranges from building surveyors like ourselves, quantity surveyors, auctioneers and valuers. So there are various routes to get into surveying. Um, as I mentioned, Kevin and I both took um, the degree route. The other alternative these days is the apprenticeship route and you can get more information on this from the RICS's website which is www.rics.org. Both Kevin and I will admit to you that our qualifications aren't the greatest, but we both ended up doing a degree in building surveying before becoming chartered surveyors. It's just about getting good results. Science is helpful because we do biology and physics with how materials react to nature and between themselves. We also do a lot of report writing, so English is important and there's a lot of maths involved in working out costs for the various projects. But you don't have to be a genius in any of them, you just need to be confident in them. And the most important skill we have is getting on with people, being part of a team or being able to work on our own if needed. In the past we have had students um, come to us for work experience. It's something we do try and do because the only way of really understanding what a surveyor is and does is to actually spend a little bit of time with us. We try to arrange a big survey and take the student with us on that survey so they can understand from start to finish what we undertake. If somebody's interested in coming with us when we're able to, we're more than happy to give that experience to them.